Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoy the video today. What are we doing today? Well, we got another mission sent out for our frigates. That should be back before this is done shooting, so we'll check out and see what they brought back. And they have another one that can go out afterward, another combat mission, but a much longer one. So let's, after that, so anyway, bleh. So what we're going to do is we're going to go look and see if we can't locate a good derelict freighter once again. I'm still looking for one. If I find one, I'll share it with you guys, put a base in that system so that it can be farmed for S-Class modules. Let's cue up the music and get right to it. So we have been doing a lot on the side here as I've been messing around with uh, a couple different things, including trying to figure out how to use this capture card to get the uh, video sound and my commentary recorded all at the same time, but on different tracks. And I gotta tell you, it's been a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get that figured out soon. I will. I'm a I'm tenacious with that kind of stuff. It might take me some time, but I will get there. <clears throat> and it will only make things better in the long run. So, there's that. Alright. Yeah, we don't want to do that right now. So, can we stop? Okay. So, let's try to find a good system. An S-Class system. Or a three-star system. S-Class. There's a three-star... Or a uh, three-star system will give us a better chance of getting that really good um, derelict freighter prize at the end. These work too. Um, yeah, those work. Here's another one. This one's got more planets in it. Let's go to this one. Pirate systems will work. So hopefully we'll uh, We'll find a good one here. I'm starting to... I've been farming a ton. I, you know, I set up a, a silver mine, so now I've got a silver and a gold mine, which means I can produce platinum, you know, which is great. Platinum's worth a lot of money. I need to compare the value of that. In fact, let's do that here. We've never been here before, so... Get the cost per each, or the value of each. 505 and see 205. So chlorine is not the way to go anymore. Platinum's the way to go. So we're going to start producing as much platinum as possible uh, to make some money. It's worth about almost two and a half times what the uh, chlorine's worth. So if I can just, you know, once a day, I log in, go collect my 10,000 platinum and 10,000 or 10,000 gold and 10,000 silver and then go crank it out turn it into 10,000 platinum We're making some money pretty quickly and it won't take too too long I don't think it takes too long to make the platinum um, it is a one-to-one -one on both of those so it'll take one gold and one silver so you don't have to worry about the trade-off or anything like that C-class weapon here but being that we're going to start a looking for frigates, you know, for our uh, frigate missions, that's going to get expensive and it's going to get very expensive very quickly. So we definitely need. Here we go. Put that in my suit. So we definitely need to start making some money for that. Not to mention we might want some other ships and all this other stuff. I still haven't collected all the. Uh, ships I could from the expedition. I did collect a little speeder though. I'm gonna, not going to lie, I wanted that ship. But, you know. I earned that while this character was active, so screw it. I'm, I'm keeping it. <laughs> and you guys can still earn it, so I don't feel bad about that one at all. But the other ten ships, yeah, we're not doing that. Alright, let's go into Pulse. Open it up. And our signal detector. 
cross our fingers, hope to die, stick a needle in our eye. We're gonna have to check out this entire system too while we're here. This might uh might have some good stuff in it for all I know. Alright, so we can go ahead and dump off some let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'm gonna make some room. We'll dump it all in order, that way when we pick it back up, it'll go right back into place. Yes, I am anal about where my stuff goes. It just makes it easier for me. I've been playing this game for a long time, and having things in a certain spot it makes it quick and easy for me to see what I need, what I don't need, etc., etc. So, there's that. Go ahead and get our pulse spitter set up, too, while we're at it. Alright, we didn't turn the heater on first, but that's okay. There we go. And let's get this opened up so we can get our wonderful little repair kits. Throw this down here. Down there. Hopefully, uh, we have a good little ship here. It'd be nice. We can find some good stuff, you know. Of course, we're already getting the ammo. Storm crystals are always helpful. So I learned something. I was looking to, like I used to make a lot of dihydrogen by making dihydrogen jelly and then putting it in the um, refiner to break it back down into dihydrogen. And you could earn a lot that way because if it, and depending on how you did it really depended on how much you could earn. Looks like they uh, made an adjustment to that. You can still earn some, but now it's not as easy. So before, hey, what you would do is, in your inventory, you could make them by hand, and it would cost 40 um, dihydrogen to make a dihydrogen jelly, right? When you broke down the dihydrogen jelly, you get 50 back. So for every one you made, you'd get 10 back, which was a nice little net positive. It was good. You know, it wasn't great, but... It wasn't bad, you know, it was a good way to get extra if you needed it. But it looks like they changed it now when you break it down in the uh, refiner, you only get 40 back, so it's exactly the same amount, so there's no point in doing that. What they didn't change, however, is that you can still make it in the, um, I think I'm saying this right, hold on, let me think about this. 40, 40. Yeah, so you can still make it in the, um, refiner, if you put dihydrogen in a refiner, it will turn into dihydrogen jelly. It only costs 30 in the refiner, so it is a little bit cheaper, so you can still net 10 on that by using the refiner, but the refiner takes a disgusting amount of time, so I honestly don't recommend that. It's just, it just doesn't seem to be worthwhile. It just takes so freaking long. So if you need um, slime and stuff like that for nanites, all these little piles of goop that are laying around, you can shoot them and they'll give you like various things like living slime and all that. Looks like we're going to have aliens on the ship, which is not what I wanted, but you know, it ain't the end of the world. We can handle it. But yeah, you can shoot those. Normally I'd do that, but I've got a, a good um, runaway mold farm, so dealing with these things and going through the different um, levels of them to get them up to... I may as well just take the initiative here. So yeah, getting living slime and, and making it into... you know, you gotta like process it three times to get it up to the mold level, and that's just not worth it to me. Not when I can just go collect basically, I think around about 1100 nanites every time I get to my base. That's what it works out to be, so... That's worthwhile. 
get some here. See living slime. But if you guys need it, take advantage of it. I just don't want to spend all the time making it, you know? Next top in here. If you're going to engage these guys, it's best to do it on your terms. Be ready for it. Blow up the nest and then take them out. If you wait for them to pop out, they can catch you a little off guard sometimes, and that's not good. And if you're not ready for these guys, they will hurt you. <laughs> they will hurt you. They will hurt you bad, too. They can inflict a lot of damage. Get all these snippets here, yada yada. end of this we should have a pretty good uh load of stuff here i meant to look at my tainted metal before we got here but i forgot to but you know we're making a decent amount of it so that's all good all right so we have several nests in here If you're really uh, not in good shape, these guys will mess you up. Right, let's go warm up a little bit. <clears throat> Especially when you have multiple nests real close to each other and uh, you trigger a few of them. Oh boy. You get a bunch of those dudes running around causing all kinds of mayhem. It's not fun. Sometimes you'll be shooting at them, and you'll accidentally uh, shoot another nest, releasing more. And that's even worse, you know? Oh, God, no. Blah, blah, blah. Keep talking. Update the bioscan. Alright. Oh, we got the crew manifest. Good. Make this, even though we don't really need to, but we can and we will. Uh, I'm going to work our way over to the corner here. I don't know if it's me and I got lucky, or if this is just not that bad of a... Uh, not that bad of a derelict freighter, but it doesn't seem like a lot of those guys are spawning in, but I might be taking them out as soon as they're stand or as soon as they're spawning. See so yeah, I know I took that guy right out. That was quick. Having the flaming projectiles is nice too because it continues to do damage over time after you've Hit them with that initial pop, you know, so that's helpful. Help you get through this. A little less danger. Getting some shield modules and some other garbage. Uh oh. I missed one? I didn't see that one there, see? I gotta be careful. I don't know where these guys are. See you, bugger. Alright. Well, let's go warm up. I think it was right over here. Yeah. There we go. And I believe the door we wanted to go through was this direction, if I'm not mistaken. Yep.
getting these logs, I don't even see them. Going for boxes. Alright, well this is a pretty cool little room here, not much going on. Tainted metal, thank you. Another freaking log. Good lord. Why does it say there's three guys left? Did I spawn some in that last room? There we go. Rare item. That's worth some money. Usually. Could be a couple hundred thousand, could be a couple million. These runs can be very, very lucrative. Oh yeah, look at that. I guess they were right beyond the door. Oh, he was in the box. Huh. So they came in behind me, right? Yeah. This is the direction we're going. Or did we come in here? Yeah, we came in here, now we're going this way. So there's probably another one in this room. Get him? I think we got him. Get nip. Alright, so we got a couple different things going on in here. We got these guys, which are very slow. A lot of them, though. Normally, you only see like one or two of these in a, <coughs> excuse me, in a room. <clears throat> there are a ton of boxes in here. <clears throat> Hit this up. Just say he's unknown. Doesn't matter what you say about him. Alright, come on. Yada yada. <coughs> Excuse me, my god, he talks a lot. Alright, there's the captain's log. We need some heat. There's gotta be a heater around here, right? There's one. There we go. We gotta be uncomfortably close to this nest. Okay. I think we got everybody. Alright, temperature levels are back to normal. Let's go ahead and start looting. This one's got a ton of stuff, boy. If you want some goodies, you don't want to come here. I hear you. You'll hear the nests pulsing that thump thump. Even if you don't see one, keep your ears open. Keep your head on a swivel. Getting dirt. That's the way out over there to the next area. Briefcase over here. One of them down. I hear you running around, you little bugger. Where are you? He's done. Is that it? The 
that may have been it. Okay, a couple boxes we have not yet opened. Come on, open. There we go, there's one. Briefcases. The best ones are those square boxes. Those things are the ones where you'll get your salvaged frigate modules. This one right here. Alright, we got some issues here. A couple nests. Temperature We killed everything as it came out of there, huh? Alright, I feel pretty confident. Definitely want a pulse fitter in here. I used to use the uh, the scatter blaster, you know, which is great, but it it's a close range weapon into a shotgun. So against these guys, it wouldn't do so well because a lot of times they're running around, jumping and stuff like that, and they're spitting at you, causing you damage. And if you're not close to them, well, you're not dealing that much damage back at them, so it can be a little tough, you know? Miss this over here. Oh my god, look at all these. Yeah, we missed a ton. scan and it'll show you the ones that you haven't hit yet with that little icon of the like box right there the little chest icon it'll show up on all of them at first but after a moment or two it fades out for the ones that you have already opened so wait a couple seconds if you want accuracy see how they all show up but then they disappear Grab this one. Two over here, one over here. Is it this? Is it that? Is this? Which one is it? Oh, it's none of those. Okay. Extreme cold damage detected. Ah, cold damage. Alright, so did we see a little dead end room here with the purple above it? I don't think we did. We came in here, right? Yeah, we came in through there. Alright, we did all that. Over to the left is where we want to go. So, yep, that's it. We're moving on. I think we're pretty much at the end now, or at least very close to it. This is kind of a small room. This is room 9 to 10, so we have one more room to enter. And then we're done. Oh, look at this. Okay. Kind of sneaky here. I bet you they got like a nest tucked away. Yeah, no, no, no nests. We have a nice box here, though. Oh no! What can we get rid of? Anything that's junk. Um, goodbye oxygen. I have a oxygen base that will. Protection falling. 
We need more oxygen than I will ever need. Alright, now we'll enter the final room. And again, in inventory food. Inventory. Let's get rid of this. I can get plenty of that. Um, yeah, the rest of it we kind of want to keep, I think, right? For now, at least. Larva cores. All right. Warm ourselves up a tad. Plenty of space heaters in here. We're gonna need to get rid of one more before we do the final thing because uh, that's gonna give us a nice little um, thing for the freighter. So let's just go ahead and get rid of the photon cannon module. I don't use that anyway. We'll go here and we will select a technology upgrade. And it's a B class. Combat performance. Well, we do have some combat ships, and I will be sending them out on another combat mission, so that'll help them out at least. All right. All right. Well, let's book on out of here. We're gonna scan the system, head back to the freighter, and see what's going on with that. This was a good little mission. Not the worst of a. Uh, not the worst of these kind of things, but not the best of anyway. Stretch the imagination. Put a little bit of distance between us and the derelict freighter before we can summon ours in. And oh, it looks like our ships have returned, so that's good. Good to know. So first things first, let's go ahead and take this and install it. That's the first of its kind there, right? Yep. Expedition defenses, 7%. It's a help. It's not huge, but it's something. We'll head on up into here. take our fleet back. Let's see what these guys have brought back with them, if there's anything good. Yeah. 26,000 units. Geodesite. More units. More units. Okay. So one Geodesite and what, about 100,000 units, roughly? Almost. Overall, very lukewarm. Um, mission, but hey, let's look at this guy now. You see, we did have another combat one. There it is. This is only a one star, but it's a lot longer, so it does have the potential of it'll bring more stuff back. These short little half hour ones, they don't get you much, but the longer the mission, the more stuff you're going to probably get, or at least potentially. So we'll send them out. And it's got a couple hours to go. We can look here if you ever want to, to manage your fleet. Look at manage fleet. And it'll show you who's out on missions and for how long. So two hours and eight minutes before these guys come back. We're going to head back to our mold base and go home because we got a bunch of garbage on us that we need to stick in our storage. We don't have any storage up here yet, but we will. Maybe next uh Next episode, maybe I'll build a storage and industrial area just for fun of it. Oh, maybe a good thing to do. We'll continue to expand the um, freighter base, you know. So 
this is our kind of catch-all garb oh, that's not it this is our catch-all this is where we'll put all the weird stuff like these things this we're keeping because it's worth money let's put in there oh we didn't want to put that in there that we want to put over there this needs to go down here actually tuck that in put that right next to that this goes in there. Put the nip nip in there. Put this in there. Making daggers, all these things. That's good. So we will sell this. Look at that. 1.3 million. 36,000 in dirt. That's garbage. 870,000. So not a lot on that one. 77,000. Eh. Put that in there. This, I guess we can keep for now. That can go in there. We'll put all these down here. Oh, I meant to go to the space station to trade this and this in, but we'll do that. In fact, we'll just zip up to our space station here, I think. For the Actually, we can go to the last one, right? Yeah, previous system. Let's go there and trade those. In. And we'll sell off the stuff that we got. captain's log that we got and I think the crew manifest. Bring him right to this guy. I thought he would take those. Scrap dealers and guild envoys offer different awards. Yeah. Well, doesn't he want to offer me anything? Maybe I have to go to a regular system. Oh crap. That sucks. Alright. Well, let's go over to this guy. And we'll sell some crap, right? We're going to sell the living slime, like I said. It's just not worth it to me. Uh, this here, one and a half million. 75,000, thank you. Oh boy, that's good. We don't want to sell that. There's hard dirt. <laughs> I think that's it other than these two things, right? Put that here, that here, that here. We're going to leave that there because we're going to take everything back from our ship. Once we trade this stuff in, let's go ahead and get rid of all these modules. Not going to get us a lot, but it's something, right? Back to our ship, and we will take all this back. We almost made the five million back. We made what about three million, roughly. So if we sold more stuff, we would have made a little bit more. I mean, we're at 192, so that's not bad. But I don't understand why this guy doesn't want to buy those things from me. That's kind of weird. This was the system we were in. See if I can do it like this. So, yes, yeah, seven ninety. Usually he gives you uh, tainted metal for it. All right, we're gonna go to another system, just a regular old system. It's not mine. Try it out and see if uh, we get some tainted metal. That's a good way to add up to your tainted metal. We're sitting at what? 2200 now, 2300. It's almost 5,000 nanites right there. And we don't need a three star, but. can find one real quick, we will take it. 
Here we go. Come on. Corvex system. Sell one to each so you guys can see what the different things are that they uh, offer you. That way you're going informed on which one you want to sell to, right? So, first off, scrap dealer. He gave us 200 tainted metal. Nothing fantastic, but I think they're both the same. So. If you want a quick 200 tainted metal, that's the way to get it. 400 if we do both. Now the other guy, the Guild Envoy guy, I believe he's just units, although it may be nanites, I'm not sure. We'll see here in a second. Donate it. Get some Corvex increase. Wow, three of them. Oof, that's a lot of Corvex points. What a great way to. Okay, we just get a little better standing. That's fine. This is what it is. We're going to go ahead and pick up a couple more of these missions. Let's see if we can get some salvage data. There's 10 of it right there. And then here, the feeding one's a good one, too. I like that one. That one stacks as well. But for storage augmentation, hell yeah. This guy, we may as well talk to him and just see if he gives us anything for free. This has nothing to do with the manifest that we gave him. That's just the normal visits so over the 260 nanites. Every little bit helps, right? Got our Corvax rank up. Yeah, plays pretty good. Alright guys, well, thanks for joining me. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. If you found this video enjoyable at all, please leave a like on it down below. That's a huge help for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell day for daily video notifications. I do these every day. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.